Hello everybody, you're welcome to my channel once again and today I'll be showing you how you can scrape TechCrunch. As you are aware, TechCrunch is a popular media channel. If you want to read anything about fundraising, about anything going on in different sectors, AI, transportation, crypto, it's a very good website to know what's up and today we'll be scraping it to have a fair understanding of how scraping works. The beautiful thing about it is it's not protected by any bot detection mechanism. So it's more beginner friendly, even for intermediate people who want to just test the skills. And that's what we'll be doing now. And before we go into the main scraping, let's try to inspect the entire website. And what do you do when you want to in inspect a website? You simply run F12. And that will show you the inspection. You can come under this element. For me, I prefer using iPhone XR with 125% so I can zoom in and just really enjoy what I'm trying to do. And that makes it much more comfortable. You can come to this cursor over here and let's try to know the class or whatever element selector that our main details are written with. So if you come here now, you see that everything here is included in the anchor link called loop card title link. But that's not where you want to scrape. Let's go to transportation. Transportation or the category is anchor loop card cut, as you can see here. Then the title is h3 loop card title let's go down a b i'm trying to locate the one for the author all right we are here as you can see for the author it is A list and ordered lists, loop card meta item. Then for the date, it is date time time. Now that we understand the selectors we need to pick, we can simply go ahead to write our scraping script. Good news, I shot a video for you to understand how to detect or spot element selectors. You can check my video there i should link you to this video go check it out and now i have pulled all the code i use for this scripting script into a pr into a repo so you can view it side by side when you are writing yours i hope that helps and right now let's jump into the game so we can start now we need a couple of libraries. We need request. I'll be using request. I'll also be using beautiful sub BS4. Then for data written, I'll prefer I prefer CSV. I mean later I use JSON, but for now let's assume I'll prefer C CSV. And that's very simple to import. So let's import a couple of things. Then import bs4 you'll see from bs4 import beautiful soup then let's import csv the main thing we need to catch is the url so let's go pull it Now we are setting our response. So we can just say request. This is the usual way you set the response and request with Bluetooth soup. So I don't think I really need to explain this much. Mm. 
All right, we are done. Let's take a couple of minutes to analyze this code. As you can see, so we passed the URL here along with the headers. Okay, we actually did not use headers. So this is soup. Then I mentioned earlier that the name of the entire card is loop card content. So that's what we are trying to pass. And as you can see here, so this is for the title tag, author tag, time tag, category. Then we are simply appending how we want to see our data. And this is another cool thing I want you to know. If you don't want to have probably too much error in your data instruction, sometimes it's just better to use this if x else not available. With that, the script understands to go beyond anything that doesn't run and still return whatever it can get. And this makes your work kind of quite easy. Let's try to run the code and see if we we'll have any error. If not, it should run very well. All right, we have a couple of errors. Let's try to fix that. Now, our script is ready. You can see here, 27 articles saved to file name. Well, it shouldn't really be file name though. It should manually update itself to whatever we used to save it, 10 crunch, whatever it should. You know, earlier here, we used a file name, which is TechCrunch data return. So it should have actually picked that instead of actual file name. But that's probably something minute we can, you know, try to simply, simply fix. And I think actually we should have wrapped it with a curly bracket so it can pick it and replace that by itself. So let's, let's give it another shot to see how it turns out. Yeah, you can see save 27 articles to take around the data return. Yeah, that's what we're trying to get. 
what are you seeing here? TechCrunch data return. So it's the case that it didn't really scrape it very well, at least with what I'm seeing. So let's try to troubleshoot a couple of things and have it filed out. And here you go. You can see the data here, everything rendered in CSV. Ordinarily, I would have probably preferred JSON, but CSV is also good. And you can see everything here. You can see the link, you can see the name of the author, you can see the time chart, you can also see the category. And that's simply how to script TechCrunch. Thank you for watching this video. If there is something else you want me to explain to you, mention it in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.